Hello and welcome, my dear students, to my channel Mathematics Made Easy. This is Ms. Ritika welcoming you to another video for especially my grade 9 elite students. Today we are revising for your final exam for term 3 for math exam from end of term coverage and exam coverage part 1 learning objective 9. So let's start with this important video and see what questions are we solving. Let's start this question, which is on learning objective 9, where you have to identify linear and nonlinear function. We are solving question 1, 2, 3, and 4, which are there in your book on page 447. So determine whether each function is a linear function and justify your answer. So you also need to give a reason. And the basic difference between a linear function and a nonlinear function, as you would see in this slide, is that a linear function has a graph which is a straight line while a non-linear function has a graph which is a curve but not a straight line. So in my last video I told you that the equation of a linear function or a line can be either in the slope intercept form that is y equal to mx plus b or it can be in the general form ax plus by equal to c. Remember for a linear function the degree of the variable or the maximum power to which it is raised is always 1. However, for a non-linear function, it cannot be put in these form and there the degree is going to be more than 1. Okay, so if you have a power which is more than 1 like 2, 3, 4 and so on to which a variable is raised, it will come in the non-linear category and its graph will not be a straight line. So let's look at the first function y equal to 3x. Is it a linear or a non-linear function? It's quite easy to see that I can convert this equation y equal to 3x in this form where m is the slope equal to 3 and y intercept is 0. So I can put it in this form y equal to mx plus b so it's going to be a linear function. Next is question 2 y equal to minus 2 plus 5x again i can put this in the same form y equal to mx plus b where for this question now m is going to be 5 and b is going to be minus 2 how because we can rearrange this equation in this form i do this so that i can compare m with 5 and b with minus 2 so this is again a linear function Next is 2x plus y equal to 10. This one can be put in this form that is ax plus by equal to c where a is 2, b is 1 and c is 10. So again it's a linear function. Last question number 4. Here if you see the power that is there to which x is raised is 2 which is more than 1. So if degree is more than 1 it is going to be a non-linear function and its graph will not be a straight line. So here for question 4, it is non-linear. Question 1, 2 and 3 are linear. That's all in this short video. Stay glued to my channel to watch more videos which will help you for your revision for the coming math exam. Until then, this is Mr. Chika signing off from my uh, channel. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more revision videos. All the best for your coming exam. Bye-bye.